Judy. Hi, Alicia. Hi, Isabella. Hi, Judd. Hi, Cressy. Hi, Reuben. Hi, Delula. Hi, Delila. And hello to anyone else who's watching today. I'm Yana, and today we're going to read a story. Today's story is called God Made the Rainforest. Shall we begin? God made the rainforest, flowers and plants, and creatures that live in the trees, like this little frog with big toes that can climb as high as his red eyes can see. When God was creating this big butterfly, he knew just what he should do. He coloured the Morpho's wonderful wings the most brilliantly bold shade of blue. Parrots are bright and colourful birds. In their nests they live two by two. They're some of the smartest birds that God made. One might even talk to you. The sloth, the sloth is slow and sleeps most of the time with a sweet little smile on her face. With claws that God gave her, she holds branches tight and hangs upside down with such grace. Have you ever seen an okapi? Some call him the forest giraffe. He's quiet and shy, always trying to hide. If you see one, try not to laugh. Gorillas love living together, the way many families do. They cradle their babies in their strong arms, like God protects his children too. Tigers are fierce, but beautifully striped. There aren't many creatures like them. Each one has a coat that is one of a kind, unlike most cats, they like to swim. Pointy tusks sturdy legs, floppy ears. Elephants are both strong and slow. God gave them trunks to make trumpeting sounds and to wave a friendly hello. God made the rainforest, clouds, trees and vines and animals that give him great joy. Each one is special, unique from the rest the way God made each girl and boy. And that's the end of our story for today. Do you know who we didn't meet in our book? We didn't meet what you're going to make for your craft activity. In your activity pack, you should have received everything to make a paper plate snake. Wow, he looks fun to make and he looks very friendly. I hope you have a wonderful week. I've included a link to a song down below. You might have heard it last week, but if you're very clever, you can figure out that it's got words about last week's story and this week's story. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, have a good week. Bye.